Welcome everyone. This is Dina from Mark's Group Live. Happy to be reviewing with you how to get started with Zoho Desk. After the video is over, feel free to email us at Mark's Group, support at marksgrouplive.com for any questions on this subject or anything else Zoho. Be sure to rate this class as well, helping out your fellow Zoho users as well as us to improve the video library. Here are some of the main points we're going to be talking about today. Zoho Desk is a ticketing tool, or basically a help desk. You can automate customer service by assigning tickets or setting up workflows, and you can set up multiple channels for your customers to submit tickets. Let's go into Zoho Desk now and take, get an overview of what it can do and how you can set it up. So first, when you first come in, you're going to be on the tickets page, and it's going to be HQ, so it's just going to be an overview of what's going on. First thing is you're going to see the incoming and outgoing bandwidth, and you'll get an idea of what's going on with your um, at each at each hour here. You can it's by hour showing you what came in, and we can see that at um, 12 p.m. we had one incoming ticket. You can change the time frame of this so it can be last 24 hours, today, current week, current month, and then you can see how that would. Uh, show up and you can also change the channels here depending on if you want to monitor different channels that you have. I'll go back to all channels now. You can also look at the live traffic in the last hour, what's been going on. We have one incoming, what's unassigned, if there were any tickets that were unassigned. You can see how many agents are online, how many are offline, what's the most threaded ticket and customer happiness. And you also up here with the three dots you can then you can click on this and see this for all agents or you can see it for myself as a user and see what's going on and what the when you go to the specific user you can see what open tickets you have and then if there's any overdue tickets as well and again you have the other um, ones that you had at the bottom I'm going to change this back for now to all agents and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a few other things while you're in tickets. So if you go along the left while you're in tickets, the next thing is you click on feeds. And this is where you'd see almost like um, like just a, a scrolling where you can see the activity that's gone on and what's happening. Here's one um, ticket that came in today that is assigned to, to our user in the system. Here's one that had been closed several months ago and you would just be a feed to see what's going on and what the activity is. And you can see um, that this ticket was received by tweet, this next one was received by email, one was by phone, so it would show you a lot of information here. Next you can go into views, system's acting up a little here. Okay, so now we're back in views, and you can see that we have um, what tickets are open, which ones are escalated, and you can check, uh, choose your view whether you want to see all tickets. Um, you can see the closed tickets. We don't have any right now. You can go and see it. So we're going to go to all tickets right now, and you can see that we have um, an open ticket and a ticket that's been escalated. And here you have your choice. You can look um, via a classic view, which is just a list, which is via status mode, which is what we came into. And then there's a few other views you can look at as well. And again, with these three dots, you can define how you want your statuses to be done. Next thing after that is the agent queue. We don't have any agents, so we can't see that right now and teams as well. And this is how you would manage your tickets. Next area I want to go into is the knowledge base. Now the knowledge base, we go to the dashboard. The dashboard on the knowledge base would tell you um, usage of your articles by ticket, trending articles, etc. And then if you go into uh, uh, Mark's Group Live as a user here, you can see um, there's some published articles here, answering your first ticket, Outlook add-in issues, a few other things, and you can add some as well. You can filter, you can dis have di different display preferences, and you can always show the latest first. And then you can have a gallery, you can have the general, 
you can have a gallery, which is working now, where you can have uh, images, PDFs, and this is where you can add something new as well. You can upload files, etc. And you can set some settings on um, preferences for some of these and what you want to be included here as well. Um, so if I was to add documents here, now you can see when I go out, Documents is now along the top, and it wasn't before. And you could have recent, you can have favorites if we had some favorites, and you can have it organized by folders as well. And you can manage the knowledge base as well, how you want things to be, if you want to display it in the Help Center, um, if you want it to sort, etc. You have, um, you know, options on accessing it and organizing it and sorting articles. After the knowledge base, we have customers. So we have all our contacts here, or you can have your accounts. And what you can do also is with Zoho Desk, you can have it integrated with your Zoho CRM so that you can get all that information fed directly in here. Now, if I was going to go into a contact here, you can see that I do have a ticket in here that's escalated, no overdue tickets, and what my experience has been as my overview. This is my history on what active what's been going on. Activities, we don't have any upcoming activities. Tickets, we have one ticket. Time entry, we don't have anything here, etc. So if we go back, um, and you can see this information. So now if I just click on somebody else, their information will come through as well, and we can have different information here. And again, here you have some the list view, or you can have a grid view as well, whichever you choose. And as you want to look for customers, you always have on the right-hand side, you can just go by the letter as well and find somebody quickly. After customers, we have reports. And reports here, you have an overview. Here is um, the top one is you have, you can see we have one new ticket, no tickets on hold, no closed tickets, backlog average of one with that one ticket. Traffic analysis, how much, how many tickets we have. If you were to click on this, you can see it in, um, in a list form by channel. And here you just can see it by channel as well in a more graphic way. Um, average reply time per ticket, you can see this as well. And happiness ratings, you can show this over the last seven days, last 30 days, etc. And again, here you can download um, this information in these reports as, or in these dashboards as um, a CSV, as an XLS, uh, Excel, or you can print it or you could see it full screen as well. So this is the overview. And then if we go into dashboards, this is where we can pick which dashboards we'd like to see. And you can um, you know, select them and use them as you need to. Click on this. Next is reports. And again, you have a lot of different reports here that you can customize or anything. So I am going to um, click on one report. And then you can get some information. You can customize the report any way you want to here. And you have all different um, types of reports here that you can go through. And we can go through this in a, in a future video. Go back to overview. Um, we also have advanced analytics where you can uh, get additional information as well. The next option along the top is activities. If we wanted to add an activity, something that we want to keep track of, maybe we want to add a call, we can say what the subject is. Um, is it inbound, outbound, just what, what has happened just so we can track it and you can tie it to a contact so you can keep um, that information handy on a case. Next is community. If you wanted to set up a community hub for your customers, you can do that. And then social, you can configure different social accounts that you can get, uh, that you can communicate with your customers on. So this is an overview of what you can do within the help desk, um, within um, Zoho Desk. And then the most important other thing to see here is you have notifications. And you can see that there's a ticket coming in here. But more importantly, is the whole setup since you're getting started here. And you have different options here. The first thing is channels. 
And if we go into channels within setup, you can see that you can set up email, you can set up the way that you want, you can have a support email address, you can have an email address that information is coming from. In the case of the support email address, you can see that where um, it's set up to fetch information from this email address, and you can use this support email address in other places so that uh, you can get whatever's there forwarded directly in Shizoho Desk. You can set up a whole help desk, um, help center for your customers. As you can see under permissions here on the right, customers can sign up for the help desk, help center. You can turn that on or off. You, they can view tickets. You can set up how you want your customers to be able to, um, to use a help center. And you can actually map a custom domain so that they can, it can link directly into Zoho Desk. You can set up which users you have here. You can send invitations. And as you can see, any anyone that we had as a contact has an invitation. Uh, you can use email templates. And these are, you can use them to welcome a customer, to use your, your, um, your Zoho desk, your, whatever help desk you're setting up. You can use it to activate them or deactivate them just to communicate with your customers as well. You can customize what the help center looks like. And you can see here is you have the home area, you have my area, submit a ticket, and knowledge base. And this has the heading of us as a customer, as a, as a company, and you as a customer. And you can do what you need to here. If we go out of the help center, you can see then you can also set up chat. And this is chat's another way that you can communicate with your customers. Next, you have community. You can set up the community if you want to have forums or posts or anything like that. You can set up Twitter so you can communicate. Uh, Facebook, all the social medias, phone. You can set up uh, different phone options, web forms. And again, these are all ways that you can get communication in. And then within setup, then you can have some just some general information where you can about the company, business hours, etc. And then you can get into some customization. So you have ticket status. Um, and you can have different statuses. You can customize these as you want. You can click on here. You can rename it, change the type. You can delete it. You can do anything you want. You can add a status here if you wanted to. So you have full options to, to customize within um, within Zoho Desk. You can change the way the layouts and fields are on the ticket. You can add fields, etc. You can do time tracking, either manually or automatic. You have all different options here. And then the more, one of the more valuable aspects of Zoho Desk are is the automation. So if we go to automation rules, you can actually um, create assignment rules. And in the assignment rules, whenever a ticket comes in, you can um, you can have it automatically assigned to an agent. So maybe you want um, anything that comes in from Twitter, you can make it an active rule. And on, on ticket create or update, you can set up uh, that information. And then you can add what the criteria would be. So here, maybe you want to do, since we made it the Twitter rule, uh, channel, you can say is Twitter, and then you can assign the ticket to someone that you have. We only have one person here, so you can save that as an assignment rule. And then when you go into, um, and then when you go into the direct assignment, you can see that you now have a rule, and you can decide if you want it to be, um, active or not active. You also have the option to do a round robin, and that would mean that if you have a group of agents based on certain criteria, a group of tickets that come in could then go around to each of those in a, and evenly distribute the leads. You can have notification rules, and you can set those up as emails, you can set them up as text, and you can have when a ticket is received, etc. You have all different options here as well for notifying the contact and then for notifying um, agents, you know, 
assigning a ticket, replying, all different options here as well. You also have different workflows that you can set up rules for. So you can set up alerts, tasks, um, field updates, all different things here as well as blueprints. Like in Zoho CRM, you can create a blueprint which will automate some of the processes within here for you. And then you have some other information as well. And one of the things that you want to do when you're first um, setting up Zoho Desk is you want to enable particularly CRM because that way when you click on this, you can see that you can um, integrate both the contacts and the accounts and that gives you the information that you need. Right now we've set this up as a one-way sync for CRM to come into Desk. You can also set it up as a two-way sync so if you make updates in Desk they'll come into CRM as well and then you'll be able to see the activity that you have from Zoho Desk in your Zoho CRM as well. So this was really an overview of what, what you can do in Zoho Desk and how you can get started. So just as a reminder, Zoho Desk is a ticketing tool or help desk. You can automate customer service by assigning tickets or setting up workflows, and you can set up multiple channels for your customers to submit tickets. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and please check out our library for other training videos like this one. If you have any suggestions for other classes, or questions about, about Zoho, please email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thank you for watching.